Welcome to Good Mythical More. Since we are in the tattoo zone and now we've experienced it firsthand and secondhand, well, with our hands. Yeah, first then hand, third hand. Now second. we're gonna see if we can see which tattoo is more expensive when there's two to choose from. Yeah. Doesn't, which, that, doesn't that sound which one, like what we're doing? Which one between the two that we just did is more expensive? I think probably they're about the equal. Probably the cactus, just because there's- We got a lot to unpack about this. Uh, got more details. The but cactus. First, congratulations, Prime Minister Jez. Really? Really? The Prime uh, Minister watches. You were, uh, you, you got your family portrait and you'd used hashtag merchicality. We found it. And you're, when you sport that merch, either by yourself or as a family. Uh, Look at the doggy. Sometimes we'll find you and we will give you $30 so you can go get some more merch. That's right. Oh, yeah, you got three cloaks. The dog is a member you. of the Mythical Society, apparently. You know, that's a greyhound. <clears throat> It's a very fast dog. Stevie. Hi. I th I'll tell you, I don't know, I don't. You did I'm, great. I'm curious what it, how it felt from your vantage point. Long. We are, I am yeah. absolutely exhausted. Are we still here? I mean, the, the, <laughs> when your neck and face like glowed. I know. <laughs> It's like, what is it? Does tr trolls, do they glow in trolls? I don't know, when they're like showing emotions. I don't know. That's what it was like. Yeah, sounds like trolls to me. Yeah. There was, I, I just like, I had this wave of emotion and pressure, and I just felt totally uncomfortable. Yeah. I, I could not have done it. That's too much. It's too much pressure. I did, I, I'm impressed. I made up my mind. I was not going to think about it at all. And then, so w the, it hit me like a ton of bricks in that moment when like everything went red. And that red. 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 Everything <laughs> went red. And I, that wasn't even on a person. That was when it was really dawning on me that I was really. Hold on. You, you got red the first time on the fake stuff? On the fake stuff. That's true, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> so long ago. Um. I, I'm really glad how it turned out, but I mean, it turns out it's just as hard as shoeing a horse. It might be harder. <laughs> you tell me. I didn't shoe the horse. I would say that I feel like the time that it would take to get proficient at shoeing a horse yeah. confidently would be less than the time that it would take to get proficient at tattooing. Physical demand, the horseshoes were more physically demanding, sure. but mentally demanding. Like I had to go into a place where I was like, this is like, you can't erase this, and this is like somebody's skin, and they're like, they're a fan. I well, did not think about those. Because you see, it's like you're looking at the thing. Where, like, where is the end of the and needle? Then, and then, yeah, you're looking and like this. There's no, needle, there's no needle out there yet, and then all of a sudden, Gabby cranks out the needle, and then all of a sudden, it's like you got this thing, and all of a sudden it's like, gung, 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 gung. this thing's coming out like that much further, <laughs> and you're like, I'm trying to put this on this spot. And then the way that you know that you've made contact is like you start seeing the ink build it up. Just like, oh, I, ink. I, I, I hope I'm in the right place. <laughs> so, I actually, like so the, the mythical beasts getting it done were really impressive because I, I kind of forgot that there was even a, like supposed to be a pain element involved. Like they just like, they were so calm. And well, that was it, because even with we're you very, doing it? Very gentle. We're so very, gentle. Very gentle. Huh. Interesting. I mean, I, I'm I'm really proud of how it turned out, and uh, you know I'm not going to hide the fact that like Gabby, Gabby saved, saved it. Us. Oh, of course, Gabby saved us. Uh, let's look at a I couple of tattoos. I don't think you can hide that fact. Yeah, yeah. It's very, <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I'm going to show <laughs> you two tattoos. You're going to guess which you think is the more expensive tattoos. Now, keep in mind. All of these, like the 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 pricing is based on the size and the amount of time. Sure, sure. We're not doing the like, oh, it's a special specific artist, you know, type of type of mind games with okay. you. So let's see the first two. Okay, so we've got a nice. What is that? A Russian doll. Yes, a Russian doll. With right there below the flowers. clavicles. And then we've got an unconditional love, uh, both written uh, regular ways and upside down. Touching a multi-chambered heart with confetti. Is that confetti? Or that might be vitamins. Uh, that's what vitamins do. That's they go a cool straight tattoo. To the heart. I mean, the unconditional love tattoo is pretty cool. Pretty cool. The other one, I don't, I don't love. Is there is a lot of shading uh, and texture work in the unconditional love tattoo. A lot of colors in the uh, in the babushka though. 
Okay. And the uh, daisies. And, and the Gerber daisies. And also, there's uh, hummingbirds on each side of Ooh. that that are come that you know you don't know how far those hummingbirds oh. go. Chase would like to say the hummingbirds were already there. Please ignore the hummingbirds. Okay. Oh, the ignore hummingbirds the hummingbirds were already there. Okay. Uh. All right. Okay. All right. I, I've got I've got my answer then. I think it's the it's I the think heart. it's the dolls. We disagree. I. I just think with, there's more colors. If the hummingbird was included, I would agree with you. And I think that's multiple um, multiple visits with the babushka. Why do I call it a babushka? I don't know. I hope that's not. Yeah, so the the Russian doll is more expensive, almost twice as expensive, actually, because it costs $700, and yeah. then the heart costs 375 Oh, <clears throat> oh wow. Wow. Okay. Three seven dollars Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, yeah, and also look at all that detail around the, the hood, too, that you can't even see. Right, can't, can't even make it out. Well, you have to pay more to make the whole thing blurry. Yeah, yeah, because that's like a very, spe this pixelated technique is very, very specialized. Speaking of getting blurry, I wanna go ahead and promote Good Mythical Evening before I forget. Yeah, right. Um, Good Mythical Evening is happening again, the 2022 version. It's a live ticketed event exclusively through Moment House. We are gonna be broadcasting live to those who buy a ticket, and I hope that you're included. Um, it's gonna, it, we're gonna have so much freaking fun. It's, 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 you, I. Say oh it, Mike, God. just say it. We're gonna have so much fun. I mean, he's just so excited about it, he can't get it out. <laughs> we're gonna have, on September 1st, we're gonna have so much fun, we're gonna party like it's 1999. Now, and here's the thing. GoodMythicalEvening.com. Multiple packages that you can buy, because again, if you are a member of the Mythical Society and you get a ticket to, Good Mythical Evening, uh -huh. you automatically get to watch us get ready for the evening in the special live pre-show. Uh, you can and also get an and extra some ticket, action there. Get an extra ticket uh, for Good Mythical More. There's a t-shirt package. There's all kinds of ways to celebrate, but check it all out at goodmythicaleating.com. And again, this Adults is only. September it's R-rated. Unless you like letting your kids hear about stuff. We're gonna give everyone an education including me, goodmythicalevening.com. So is this, uh, is this tattoo pricing, like does it fit in your understanding of tattoo pricing? I'm not up on the tattoo pricing scene and you guys just recently got tattoos. How much was your tattoo? Um, I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't keep up with the dollars. I also pay, I mean I paid for me and Lily's at the same time so. Uh, you know, I didn't get an itemized bill. <laughs> cool. <laughs> You're yeah. the next two. Yeah, yeah. The, my... A zillion dollars. Whoa, look at these. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we've got a superhero of some sort. Who on the is left. that? Does anybody know who that is? On the left, who is that guy jumping out of paper towels? And that is a calf or a forearm? Forearm. Forearm. And if then... David doesn't know who that is, it, it no one knows who that is. I mean, that is that is a is that an old? You think that could be old Bane? Um, on the right, that's an amazing design. That person, old Bane, is holding old Bay, <laughs> old yeah. Bane seasoning, old, ba old Bay, the old superhero. Bay. <laughs> The one on the right is a. That's uh, a whole side of the person. It's a really incredible trunk. tattoo. That's older bay. Uh, the shading, also the size of that. I mean, I, that's I'm, pretty impressive. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. I look at a lot of tattoos on the internet because I'm trying to get inspiration for my next tattoo. And you're gonna do something like this. Uh, I'm always disturbed by trying to figure out what part of the body is, like when you're like, is that a calf or is that a forearm? It's just a very disturbing question to have to ask. Well, yeah, the shading on this one, it, yeah, it does make it very confusing because it looks like there's like a, there's also, you don't understand where his stomach is and then it looks like there's kind of a nipple on the, Oh, well that's his lower. belly button and nipple. That's the whole side. The thing is, you're talking no. about the, the elbow. The elbow of that dude, it looks a lot like my elbow. Yeah, actually. the elbow of the dude I looks got nipple like a nipple. Bones. Which elbow, there is no, oh, you're talking about. In the tattoo. Oh, the a tattoo itself. Yeah, it looks like he had a nipple on his hip and he wanted to do a tattoo around it. Yeah, and then the shading on the lower right 
does something for the It gives him a love handle. The, yeah. Well, that's the thing. This is the skinniest person I've ever seen with a loved handle. Lo- a loved handle? <laughs> it is loved, I'm sure he's loved. I mean, he's got a six pack and a love handle. Um, I'm, and I think maybe his just drawers are pulled down so that his booty has come out of the top of it. And I think he's twisting in a way that's like making a faux he, uh, love yeah. handle. Yeah, David makes a good point that that's his butt, his butt top. It's the it's the butt top. Oh, yeah. that's the top of the. See, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. other thing that disturbs me is like you see weird, like people pull their pants down, and then you're like, all of a sudden I'm looking at a picture. Sounds like you're having a tough like time with this. Way too much being revealed. It's like, is that a love handle? No, that's a butt cheek. It's like <laughs> I'm. That's what I don't like looking at. But compared, tattoos on but the internet. compared to porn, I mean, it's it's real soft. You know, I mean, what's the big deal, man? I mean, it's just the top of a butt. I don't like looking at anything on the internet where I have to sit there and stare at it, try to figure out what the body part is. That's my favorite activity on the internet. (laughs) What body part is this? All right, I'm Uh, I'm going to go with the guy on the right, the big, the big, the big flank tattoo. I think so too. Just because of size, flank. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a lot bigger. Yeah, you're both right. It's I mean. And a lot more expensive, so fourteen hundred for that one, and then oh. five seventy five for the old bay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see another. So we got grumpy dwarf and thumper. Is that thumper? Then on the right we've got that's a it's that's a deltoid. A deltoid. That's like a, a a rose sleeve. It's not a lot of context there for that. But what is that body part on the left? Is that a leg? Nose. Forearm. Oh, oh. sorry. I have like a wider photo than you do. So it's uh, the, um, like right below would be like the, the wrist. Well, I mean, I got to go with the dwarf here because um, it's a similar right. size. Yeah, yeah, it has to be. More detail and more color. It has to be grumpy. I, yeah, you is would it, think, and it's not. Is it not. Grumpy the Troll? Is it's, that Grumpy? It's the rose, and it's like by a lot. The the roses cost sixteen fifty, and then yeah, and then the other one is <laughs> six eighty. That's a steal. Well, goodness gracious, goodness gracious, maybe there's a Disney discount. That's the only way to explain mm. this. If you get a Disney tattoo, it's a little bit less. Yeah, I, there's no explaining Disney, that one. Because Disney pitches in a little bit. If you're gonna get a Disney tattoo, their marketing budget, 27% of Disney's marketing budget every year goes to people getting Disney themed tattoos. It's subsidized. Subsidized? It's subsidized. What do you mean it's subsidized? What By you... Disney. Oh, I know what you mean. It's the only way to explain this. It's the only way to explain it, and you've explained it. Uh, this one's suspective. Sure, 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 suspective. <laughs> this one's suspective to me. Let's see another. Oh, oh, ooh, look at that. There's a sh- that's a scary shark. What is that shark coming out of? A leopard. A leopard? The shark is eating its way through a leopard? That woman is a leopard that has a shark inside of it. I think, I think this is the inside of a leopard and the shark has bitten through. So this is point of view uh, inside a leopard. Like what is that? Is it coral? Is it flames? Is it coral? What it, is it? I mean that? it might be. What it's is kind of it? sticking to the thing. Maybe it's, it's coming out of a sponge. No, it's it's a it's a shark coming out of hell. Those are flames. Pink flames? It's like the it's like the lake of fire. Let's talk about the one on the left. Mm. Now this is some you know, I'm sure that some people uh, some sort of anime here character. know the names of these characters, and some sort of d- two two ponytailed squirrel. <laughs> this is a very fresh tattoo. You can see the less fresh tattoos and what happens to tattoos over time. What is that around there? Like, is that a perfume bottle? Uh, with the with the with tails on it, the character. It's some sort of magic. Nobody knows who this. There's character absolute is. silence back here. <laughs> Nobody knows who this character is. David doesn't know who this I, is. I that that shark is not a good tattoo. I hope. I hope somebody didn't pay too much for that. I'm going with the anime. I agree. Or manga. I don't know what it is. Yeah. So the. Uh, 
the shark costs <laughs> one thousand Canadian dollars, which roughly equates to seven seventy two. Okay. And then the other one uh, costs twelve hundred dollars. Oh. So they got a Canadian shark. Mm hmm. Interesting choice, huh? Canadian shark, right there. Canadian sharks are all bark, no bite. They do not actually attack you. They're too friendly. Is that what that shark's doing right there? Barking? It's like, hey, watch out! There's an American shark back there! <laughs> hey! Heads up! <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Like if you if you if you look at that shark and picture him yelling to warn you when she's coming to bite you, it's everything about him changed. Hey! I'm already trying to help you. I'm sorry, I'm so scary. Hey, it's hot down in here, Canadian hell. Canadian hell. Canadian shark hell. Uh, Canadian hell is just America for anybody who's moving. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I I know some Canadians. Yeah, and right, every right. time, every time, boy, especially lately, every time they get a chance, they they remind me that they are Canadians. Yeah, right. They yeah, are right. not Americans. I'm in Canadian hell right now. Yeah. Right. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Thank you, Rhett. Thank you for telling me that was good. Pre-game with us at the pre-show on mythicalsociety.com. Then join us September 1st for Good Mythical Evening, exclusively on Moment House.